Right, Chris, in his wisdom, has cut out a load of nonsense. I haven't got any headphones. Because apparently someone gave Jordan an absolutely ridiculous tier list with every character in the world in it. Uh, okay, so it's been edited for goodness. All right. Anyway. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before she gets all southern on it. Ah! <laughs> All right, I think we're ready. We'll go like this. Yeah? This looks accurate to me. Oh, it's fucking Chris moving my mouse, fucker. Leave me alone. I don't need that. Right. <laughs> Why Boris happy? Okay. Chris has asked that I put a heart monitor on for this. I'm at 101 because of my rage. Or oh, is it not updating? Uh, that looks like it's not updating. Hold on. There we go. There we go. A nice steady 17. That'll do. That'll do while streaming. Okay. <clears throat> I, I, my predictions are that she thinks everything is amazing. And nothing's wrong. That's my prediction here. All right. Anyway, we have a tier list. Uh -huh. to do. Now, I've clicked on this tier list and I just want you to see <laughs> That's too many. We have a lot of characters. Yeah, that's way <laughs> too many. We have a lot of characters in this tier list. <laughs> that's too many. Why are there so many? We can remove Tataru for a start. If she disrespects Dulia, I'm going to be pissed. I cannot wait to give the preaching She one. is a bit loud, isn't she? She is a bit loud. High blood pressure and like hours of molding. <laughs> I see, Chris, why he you requested be this. Because he cannot comprehend what makes a good character. So, yeah, what can you do? Alice, straight okay. away. She All right. is everything. All right. We love Alice. Respect. One of the sass twins. All right. She is so sassy. She delivers. Yes. She's strong. This is correct. I love her so much. She's yeah. everything. We respect it. Also acceptable in Shadowbringers. I don't Shadow think anything needs to be said about Alfie at this point. I've loved him from the very start. Disagree. He is the best. Our sass twin. Disagree. I feel like Shadowbringers really, really kind of wrapped up his whole arc. Especially when we all united at the end and we formed the grand company of Aeorzea. <laughs> John and Streams so without a microphone. <laughs> we love our Alfie. He's come so far. He's the best. Right. I think this is Ardbert, isn't it? Ardbert. So I want to deduct Ardbert a couple of points because he did haunt our room, right? Every time That's we fair. wanted he is a, creeper. a peaceful night's yeah, yeah, yeah. sleep. That's well, fair. He is a creeper. Our room was haunted. So he also ate my sandwiches and I will never forgive. He is a creeper. But he is a bedroom stalker. He also saved us, I guess. Uh, I think mean, that's kind of okay. I mean, his whole existence. Creeping on anybody's bedroom you know? is weird. Like, Don't do it. Endlessly wandering for a hundred years as a spirit that nobody could see. He couldn't interact with anything. He couldn't do anything. He just watched everyone kind of suffer, and he watched his legacy. As hey, if I wake up and there's a fucking the woman staring at me I don't in the room, we can I'm wish that out of there. That's not worst sexy. Enemy. Felt like he had it. Buy me dinner rough. first, at least. But despite everything, they kept doing what's right. So far, the prediction's coming true. Everybody's everything amazing. Right. Everything's good. Okay. So for that reason, he goes in S+. <gasps> Aaron! Aaron Eld. Oh, he was... Oh, I feel like we spent more time with him in short Shadow Blood Bringers. Nah, Shadow blood. blood bringers? I feel like his whole injury. <laughs> I was trying to refrain from calling him Hot Wheels. 
I assume really Jordan tragic. didn't call him Hot Wheels. But also, he still keeps going. So he is just as inspiring as well. Oh, he's not S tier. Fuck and off. Fuck off. I feel like. No. He deserves A. Yeah, all right, Merrick all right. is the best ever. Doesn't need to be said. In <gasps> Shadow Bringers? No. Oh my goodness. This was the only character in the game that I could kind of voice act. So I'm going to give her credit for that. I need, to, I need to see that. Can someone give me a clip of Jordan trying to voice act like a dog person? <laughs> I need that in my life. <laughs> The backlog is great. I need I need to see a clip of Jordan trying to voice act a dog. Maybe she'll do it now. Uh, I kind of could voice act her. <laughs> or them, sorry. <laughs> what a claim to fame. They were great. I really enjoyed all of the voice lines. So this is a little bit biased, I guess. But I mean, they were great. They were great. It must be a small person thing. And they helped, you know, develop the tech to bring all of the souls back. Important stuff. So, eat it. Ardbert's companion. Okay, right. So, I feel like these are going to be a little bit difficult because I have not unlocked all of those roll quests yet. The only role quest I did was the ranged or magical DPS one. So I haven't done the tank one, I haven't done the healer one, and I haven't done the physical DPS one. So I can't obviously. But why are we here, Jordan? Quests, but I am leveling those why jobs. Why are we, we here? We are leveling those jobs. I'm just going to put them in not Shadowbringers because obviously we haven't met them properly. We didn't spend the time properly with them yet. What a disgusting um, poor. But I am very excited to do them because everybody keeps saying, you know, that, that it's amazing. All of those role quests, not shadow bringers. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what expansion we're in. The salad ones will always be the best. This is I fucking mental will die terrorism. On this hill. The salad is top tier. This is mental terrorism. It. She's a. <gasps> oh my goodness, Julia Chai. It was. It's the Chai's, not Julia. What was his name? But it, I loved the Chai's. Literally. I loved them because they were each other's biggest fans. And he also rose into power. He didn't really want it. Did Is really the want Talos it. on he this tier list? He uncomfortable with the leadership position, but he overcame it. And he then ended up being a good leader, you know? He, he was he a fucking gigantic, cock loser. Gigantic Talos to reach Valtry. And he became the... Um, the manager of Yorba. Yep, the manager. <laughs> So I, I really, I really Julia like for guys. sure. They were, they She's were the really hard really carry. Really good, really good. I bet she likes Feol, doesn't can't she? Do it. Oh, Ellie de Bus. Okay. You better respect okay. the ending of that man's story. Are you fucking B tearing, Elizabeth? Oh, and his fight as well. His fight was iconic. The music, oh. 5.3. There we go. There we go. Ooh, where would we put Elidibus? He's S. He's good. He's ending his story. He's tragic. Like it's a tragic S. horror. It's horrible. <laughs> oh, who's this? I forgot this character. Can't have been that important. Who's this again? <laughs> okay, Emmett was literally everything. From the second he arrived in Storm... I'm a little pissed off because she's clearly putting them in an order because she put the stupid fucking vegetable bitch like at the top of S tier and Emmett appears to be all the way down here below fucking Emmerich. And frankly... She's getting on my fucking tits with not, like, maintaining some semblance of order. And I don't like it. So she better not carry on with this attitude. Blood with this sassy drama theatre kid. Sass dramatics. He owned the screen. And he was also a villain that you could, like, understand. And it offered that there you go. dynamic of 
Below the Your goals just collide. But Be we're going below! We're go okay. You can understand him, where he's coming from, his right. goals and motivations as much as you like, but we still can't allow it to happen. Emmett Selk! What a great, what, antagonist? I wouldn't even call him a villain. He, he was great. He really was. He Need just sassed us the whole way through. He just was in the back going, Wait, did we fucking beat here, the bunny people? Oh, piss off. Below, above Biggs. The fucking bunny people are above Biggs. The bunny people are on par with Sid. And he's great. Oh, it's Estinian, AKA Estinine, the main character. I think Estinian goes in the bin because I cannot be the main character while he exists. I've already hired a hitman on him in Endwalker. We got him kidnapped and I still wasn't redeemed as the main character. Okay, no, Estinian is so cool. He's great. He's so edgy. He's so broody. He's so like, ooh. He's not S plus, what? He's lead really cool no, in the corner. No, and then he just not. walks away from you. He's like, not he's in Evan Selk's really league. Bye. Oh, here we go. I'm guessing this is Fandango. He, I thought Emmett was dramatic and theatrical, but my goodness, Van Daniel is so fun. dramatic. He's so fun and exciting. And everything he does is just a pleasure and he a is, joy. It, it's, it's great how they write so many different villains and so many different antagonists. Like he just wants to see the world burn. He is going down and he is taking everybody with him. He don't care. Sorry, He's got nothing Will's to lose. Up next. And isn't that the most scary villain? A villain with nothing to lose? He's just absolute madness. Crazy. He does own the screen. He is scary. But he's also like... We've all got to know him as much. I'm going to put him as S for now. Because we still have the rest of Endwalker. We've just started Endwalker. I feel like maybe his position will change. I like from Daniel. <gasps> it's Theo's UI! Okay, well... Theo's UI did try and fix my UI, but wasn't very successful because it's still cursed. So, you know, every time you lot complain about my UI, you can blame Theo. Okay, we loved our Theo. I think Theo deserves S. Theo, Theo Rule and Fan Daniel and because. Elidibus. They're the same. <gasps> Phil Hammond! They're the same. We did see Phil Hammond when They're we on the all same arrived fucking, back yeah, on the Yeah, I see it. I see it. We They're on the same time. fucking we feel league. We had on the rooftop bar, right? A I'm, bit. I'm not. My heart rate's not going well. up. So I'm just we depressed. We delivered a message from. Do we deliver a message from? It's hard to be angry at such well. filth and um, nonsense. As somebody who rates well, Elizabeth and Fan Daniel as the same she as the annoying Scottish in fairy. Ah, Fedora. Fedora. We've seen her a little bit so far only a little bit but she's just really i feel like she's gone from just being really edgy and broody to just being brutally real she's like, oh pick yourself up oh boo hoo come on let's go and save the world you know <laughs> she's really great at least he ranks the shark right we've higher than seen Ironsides. So little of her, like, we've only seen her a smidgen. But her moments are so memorable, I'm like... I think she goes in S+. Plus. Fordola is better than Elidibus and Fun Daniel in Shadowbringers. What crack heroin bullshit are you smoking? Like, I don't understand how you can even look at this and not want to smash your own face in, right? Like, absolutely ridiculous. You're rating for Dola. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get 
what fucking heroin is being taken here? I feel like she she could be an S because again, we've not really seen much of her, but she's great. She really is. <gasps> it's the twins' father. F F two. Who disowned them? Yes. He looked cool. Badge. It, his character was cool, but F tier. He's evil, but he did a really good job of being like a really snobby. I'm way too clever for you. I am above everybody. I would give him a B. I'm going to disown my. He's just children. a con. So he's just a con. He's not even a great like, con compared yes, to the other he villains, the Shadowbringers. He is Bill. He deserves to be in the bin for disowning our dear. Sam I don't twins. think he's a great character. But also, we he's have to appreciate how. Good to the, now, the mommy, is, even if the character's mommy bad, top shelf. Sense. Can't put all the villains in the bin. I did that at the start, and I got flamed. So I'll I feel forget like if what we don't people put think. All the villains in the bin. The preaching one will be happy, right? No. Nope. I don't see anything wrong with the tier list. You couldn't so make far. me happy in a, a fucking job. lifetime of tier list, Jordan. Really you couldn't make me happy if you were like, like made tier really lists from now until the day you died, were resurrected, really and did it again. I would still not be happy. Pretentious. Like, yes, he's all of these things, and these things are negative, but he did them really well. I don't think so. Like, he's he did B. deliver, so I'm going to put him in S. <gasps> Is this Gabu? Wait, oh my goodness. I feel like Gabu has such a crucial role because we discovered a cure for Tenko. Is Seto on this tier list? It all led up to saving him. Alice never forgot about him. Okay. And he's cute. He's so cute. S tier. S tier. S tier. Everybody's <gasps> S tier. It's Gaia. Don't go up. Gaia is the best. I. I. I fucking can't. I fucking can't. Like, there's no. There's no way. There's no way! <laughs> I fucking can't do it! She's the best girl. She just is, okay? She was so cool. And she could have easily have been so, like... Like, sometimes when you get the kind of... edgy characters like that, it can just, like... Like, be really mean to Reen, for example. But she wasn't. They're the best of friends. They're like sisters. <laughs> Gaia and Reen, they're sisters. And they have their two dads, Dad Crid and Yuri Dad. And I love their dynamic. I loved getting to know Gaia. I love that she could have gave it, gave up, gave in, but she didn't. She kept going. She showed a lot of strength. <gasps> Gaius. Okay, we did the Whirlit quest line, which is a quest line that I'm never gonna forget because that was a masterpiece of shattering my heart over and over again. Gaius? Below Gaia. I wanna put him in S plus because S plus is reserved for the best of the absolute best of the best of the best. It can't be your biggest category. Like, it can't be the default. It's the best of the best. It's like, not only is it the cream of the cream of the cream of the crop, it can't just be everybody in there. I really like Gaius. I just think of the whole Whirlit quest line and I just feel for him. His children and... S plus, what a surprise. We're gonna need to fucking drag that bitch wider, aren't we? We're gonna need to stretch that. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the Crystal Exarch, Grahatia, is the best. He is the best. Everybody's boy. the best, Jordan. What a team. If this was Space Jam, them aliens have no chance. No chance. He's Everybody's great. the Look, best. The he is. Wait, wait, wait. We skipped Brosetsu. Brosetsu is S tier. Fardola is S plus. 
Brosetsu is S tier. Fodola is S plus. It's it's just a fact. This is a factual statement and a factual tier list, and there cannot be anybody who would disagree with him being being S plus. <gasps> oh, this kid! I remember this kid. Oh, I can't remember what his name is. It begins with H, right? Paul Rick. Paul Rick. Yes. Yes. Paul Rick. Um. Tragic story. And then when he repeated Tesseline's lines, like when we restored, when we kind of fixed him, we saved him. I'm actively trying to keep calm at this point. I'm like a controlling my breathing. I know, technically we didn't really spend much time with him, but- A's respectable, A's fine. With a tragic character with a tragic story. Decent character, and move the story along. Even though that might not necessarily be like his personality or him as a character, his impact on the story was a lot, so. Yeah. We will put him in A. A tier's fine. Oh, anyway. Oh, Lord Hien. Oh, uh, he's not Shadowbringers, but. What? Maniac puts Hien in S+. Plus. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, what absolute maniac would do that? Under what circumstances? Like, give me some credentials. Give me an itinerary. Justify your decision. What in the fuck? I don't give a shit. Even in Stormblood, he's terrible. Oh, this fun Daniel guy seems like a really trustworthy person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fucking see what happens. It's gonna be awesome. Like, what in the actual fuck are you talking about? Hythalidolin? Hythalidayan? S plus, why not? I remember the cutscene when we were in Amarok. Hythalidayus! Hythalidayus! You should be surprised that I remembered that much, I'm just saying. That cutscene was gut-wrenching. I still remember in 5.0 seeing Amarok for the first time. No, 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 no! Hith is not S plus! No! S plus is for the absolute amazing, like, oh my god, your Emmett Selks belong up there. That's where they belong. Really, really good characters are S. That's where they go. Great, wonderful character. Really amazing. Did a good job. But not the quintessential, amazing, like, overwhelming, like, unstoppable force. Going around the city, which were the memories, and then having that cutscene with Heitler Deus and then talking to the Scions one at a time before you go in to face Emmett. And then not only that, like one of these WTF things stands out this. as like... Peak, Eye cancer is what it is. What I've done so far. And then you individually speak with all the Scions. And it's all kind of led up to facing Emmett. And then you go in and you go through the Amarok dungeon. Yeah, he's an A or an S. Like, I days. would go A and with Hitler Deus. Emmett at the end. He is in the Horrick League. Sequence, important character, whole, important like, junction along the story, but he's not I the car. Speechless. Was the most incredible piece of media that I've ever consumed. And I feel like 5.0 and 5.3 just has changed gaming forever for me. Final Fantasy 14 already changed gaming for me. But 5.0. It's only the second game you've ever played. Incredible. <laughs> and like I've said so many times, Shadowbringers. Or Final Fantasy fourteen, yes, it's a phenomenal story, but it it's it's an ex, it's an experience that is unlike anything you will, you will ever experience. One of a kind experience. Amazing. So I think Hythalodeus was a was a really heart wrenching cutscene. And I, maybe they don't deserve S plus, but it was just the cutscene, it just really stood out. It was a really Oh, no, she's played COD. <laughs> well, I think S plus for villain. I know it was in Stormblood that we first met him, but he genuinely terrified me. Like, he just slow walks at I you. Do want some he doesn't yeah, move, but Frantic. he radiates such power. He's genuinely terrifying without doing anything terrifying. But I feel like that's always way more sometimes. Genuinely terrifying villain. He really scares me. Oh, I like Xenos. I always really like Xenos. I wouldn't S plus him, but I like Xenos. And he's just coming into end. I was a Xenos enjoyer for a while. But 
Oh, he's, 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 he's just displayed badly. Oh, in that he invokes yeah. in me Shadow really stands out. Uh, Genuinely one, one, one of the bad guys that I I feel very scared in the presence of. So I feel like because he does that, that got a credit to the writing then. Oh, <gasps> Krill! Oh, Krill was another character we didn't see too much in Shadow. So S plus, right? But she worked tirelessly <laughs> to preserve the bodies of the scones. She exhausted herself, and it was thanks to her. We can thanks to her that everyone managed to be okay once we finally came back. And Krill is best girl. I am also going to be cosplaying Krill at the next Race to World First event. Damn right. Because I lost the jump tower challenge to the preaching one, but you know I let him win um, because my existence can't exist just to antagonise him. Right? I can't just annoy him a hundred percent so when time. will that change like sometimes we have to let him like us so when will I that change john tower challenge at which point so is there a plan can i get a fucking date um, will there be a letter yeah, a memo an email of, of when that win, will end i now will have that happen up as krill for the next race to world first i can't wait binfilia so we had a little bit of a dynamic of minfilia through Reen, kind of. Uh, we had the really heart-wrenching scene after Thancred, by the way. When you play as Thancred against Ranjit. Ranch. Uh, anyway. That was so memorable as well. There are so many moments in Shadowbringers that I'm like, whoa, I will never forget this because it's just like every time you use that Thancred ability to save him, you could feel the toll that it took on his body, like the, the heartbeat. Why are you talking about Thancred? We're talking about Minfilia. It was just a very memorable scenario. I literally thought he was going to die. I literally thought he was dead. And then when he was freaking just sitting there on the step, I wanted to strangle him. It was the typical situation where I was like, you better not die or I'm gonna kill you myself. That's how I felt. I was gonna kill him myself when I saw him fine sitting on the step. But um, yeah, anyway, talking to Minfilia, so that, the, the heart-wrenching cutscene with Reen, when Reen became Reen, obviously, was, was a really, really lovely cutscene. Uh, but I think Minfilia, like, she's kind of, she's okay, I think Minfilia. Noticing a trend with the girls. A lot of love for shaven, open-chested fellas that get sweaty. Not a lot of love for the pretty girls, right? Outside of them kicking ass in some way. Just, uh, just noticing a little bit of a theme that the B tier doesn't contain a lot of sausage. Don't know if you guys have noticed. Just, just so I got to throw out there. Not a lot of sausages in the B tier. It, it feels a little light on the protein, is all I'm saying. Like, a cumulative effort of about 10 inches is going on here. Up here, though, I think we could draw a map around the globe, sausage to sausage, for the most part. Just pointing something out. Maybe it's just me. I mean, if you didn't do anything wrong. I do want some I know Miss Lillian saved oh, a whole shard. Toes. She did. Yes, she did. She did. She yes, she did. Even better than Reed's Falcon. Yes, she did. She saved the first. Yes, she did. She deserves better. Right, you know what? She did. Yes, that was one wow. of her influence, a but... Saves the world promotion to A tier below the ginger Scottish fairy. We can get away with that. Ranjit. Yeah, B. I don't know. He has no, one good cutscene, but other than that, he's he kind of a douche. B or C. It's annoying. B or C. Because he was an antagonist. Like, he's the villain. That's the job. Antagonize. But he also wasn't really that... I don't know. John, if you're doing this face where you're trying to think of something worthwhile, it's B, C, or D, right? If you're like, I mean, right? That's B, C, or D. That's the not. Why are you floating around the A tier characters? You're like, who is this fucking guy? Like, he's the most inspired villain. No, you know? he's like, trash. He, 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 he has he one good cutscene, and that's he's because just, of Thancred, not because I'm of him. Just gonna be a doorstop. I don't think he deserves A. There you I feel go. Like he was just kind of okay. But 
I just think he wasn't that interesting, you know? No. Like, he was just there to... I see Lise. I think Lise is... I rate Lise as uh, ARS <gasps> here these days. Oh, what was his name? Oh, fuck off, man. Oh, from Raktika... He, he, he is all a butthole eater. He gives a flower. He's to not S here. When you get the two minions out, if you get your stolen minion out and him out, Runa, Runa, they he gives her a flower. Oh. He gave her a flower. He was really sweet. And so what? I liked him. I feel like he can go here. But Philia saved the world. He gave. He stole her a flower. What are you saying? What are these words that are coming out of your mouth? Like, what is going on? She saved the world. Gave a flower. I don't understand how this brain process works. If this was Tetris blocks, there'd just be holes everywhere. There'd be nothing going on. It'd be just chaos. He was cool. I liked him. Reen, Reen, oh my goodness. Reen is, Reen is like the best girl. Uh-huh. Really couldn't have had Shadowbringers without her. She, it must be so difficult. I don't know, I kind of sympathize with her position because she was essentially not even living her own life until yep. she chose like at the end, right? She was kind sure. of living in the shadow of somebody else's legacy. Yeah, right? yeah, sure. She went through so much. She found herself. Did she? she went from a really yep. nervous, unsure girl, desperate to prove herself. And she came so far. She reminds me of Lisa a little bit. We love, we love our little bean, our little ween. Oh, Seto. <gasps> Be fucking careful, Jordan. Be fucking careful. Oh my gosh, Seto. And when you tell... When you tell him about Ardbert towards the end, that cutscene... That was like being hit by a truck, that cutscene. So Seto himself as a character, I feel like the reason why I want to put Seto in S plus is because it's not just like the Seto character, it was his part in the story and the story around I just really wish Seto could have had as, as much well. as an impact as I feel as like it was the most Estinian. heart wrenching moments of Shadowbringers. And the cutscene, you know, at the very end really got me. I think it's when you go and tell you go and speak to him when you your soul is kind of fused with Ardbert, right? Ardbert. And him and Ardbert have like a conversation. I think that was the cutscene, wasn't it? it I remember. Really I remember weeping really like a baby at Kryl's cutscene kind of in the Shadowbringers. You know where you're better than Ardbert, because like I, I said, was Ardbert to ruins. my in room and Same with Emmerich. Sandwich, so, whatever. Ruined I was. <gasps> Tataru! Tataru is my favorite. No, you can go here, Tataru. You're the best. Yeah, not quite as good as the Stinian, though. Oh my god, it's Tesselin. Not quite as good. It's Tesselin. Tataru more important than Arpa. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. her brief story. Oh, come on! Was the most shocking introduction <laughs> to something, like that whole going to Alice. Oh, come on! Like in being introduced to Shadowbringers. I'm speechless. See, see, I'm speechless. She. Oh, she was such a kind and wholesome, wonderful person, and she met such a tragic end. And that cutscene was terrifying. It was like, whoa, really set the tone for the expansion. So I really want to put her like up here. I kind of want to put her above, mm, I can't put her above Seto. Her short lived time on screen. It was so memorable. That freaking cutscene when she turns into a sin eater 
was terrifying. Oh my goodness. It's a great cutscene. Oh, it's Dad Crid. Okay, Dad Crid. I Crid's wonder where. Going right to the top of the ceiling. It's not even a debate when it comes to the fellas. They're just like right to the top. Yum! Rocket ship, baby. Diamond okay. hands. Dad Crid went through some stuff. Let me tell you. Bigger story arc than anyone. <laughs> This is his best glow up. His outfits were so terrible. He looked great in Shadowbringers. But also, he had to look after. He looked his great in again, Shadowbringers. Go through, you know, all that grief that he was struggling to come so, to terms no, with. It, it and then have to really no, it defends. No, no, don't get me wrong. Thancred is amazing in Shadowbringers. It was my favorite ever version of Thancred with Shadowbringers by miles. But that is absolutely none of the justification for why he's up there on Jordan's list. It's because he looked really good. Give that grief. And then again, when we had to say goodbye, again, that grid went through so much this expansion. Oh my goodness. Look at her face. It's the most disingenuous shit ever. It's quite she wants to ride his cock like it's the fucking Grand National. Look at her face. Oh, and he went through so much blah, 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 blah. She wants to fucking ride that pony. That's all it is. Look at what your face. It's, it's like holding back the smile. Right? Filia again. Watch. Go through, you know, all that grief that he was struggling to come to terms with and then have to relive the that grief. Here it comes. And then again, when we had to say goodbye. Look at that face. Grid went through so much this expansion. Oh my goodness. That's the thirstiest eyes I've ever seen on any girl ever. She's like dehydrated. What the fuck is going on? <gasps> Yuri, dad. Okay, Yuri on Jay is exhausting we need a dictionary every time he speaks but we love him s plus of course and again he's kind of like Thancred where he had such a glow up this expansion i loved his outfit we love our yuri dad we gotta put yuri with, with our other dad dad crit and yuri dad especially with the um what was the raid series with the uh, reen and gaia what was that raid series called? <laughs> what a thinker. Well, we love Yuri anyway. She can't remember. <laughs> she can't remember. Well, whatever. Eden. We yes, with Eden. That whole series was amazing. Val 3. Giga His chunk. voice actor was phenomenal. I have to say, his voice actor was so good. Like, you felt the 75 chin. She's low down, but he did turn into a handsome fella at the end. So does that rocket ship him right, rocket ship him right up? Like, you felt his voice actor freaking delivered. And he just was shrieking. He was a... Oh, he was a great villain. And then his boss fight with the boss fight music. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> that boss fight music was so nice. I feel like Val 3 was epic. He went up quicker than an erection, dude. Did you see that? And then the boss fight, but dying. <laughs> I think Val 3 can go up here. He was great. Yeah. He cried like a baby. <sighs> Yushtola. Oh, Yushtola is so amazing. I love her directness. Yeah, Solo was the only character who lost ranks for me in Shadowbringers. Like her Matoya was showing. I loved her. She did not so like smart. the sort of change they made to Solo's personality. Oh, she's everything. I she was one of my favorites. She got down ranked in Shadowbringers. I kind of want to put her above Alfie as well. Okay. Okay. All right. No, I'm just gonna breathe. I'm moving on. Ooh, moving on. okay. No, I'm sticking. I'm sticking up. I'm sticking by that. No, I'm putting her there. Okay. Cool. Sure. Okay. So, final standings. Now that we've kind of placed everyone on the board, is there anyone that we would move? Oh, we'll definitely put High the we Day is higher. I didn't realize High the Day was so low. looks good. I don't see a problem. Can anybody spot a problem with this list? Can I, I mean, upon closer inspection, 
it seems flawless absolutely flawless we need to toughen jordan up i don't know how we do it but we've got to toughen jordan up we've got to do it we need to like conscript her or something we need to cause some so sort of, of like day, mental anguish in some way we've got to toughen her up like this is unacceptable this is not okay what's happening here is just not okay right it's tough for up throwing. It's, there has to be some toughening up here. Absolutely nobody in Shadowbringers was a bad character or D tier. They were middling at best, which is relatively fair. I do want some Franny Toes. Oh, Franny Toes. You should feel very lucky you don't have a daughter. It would just be this every day. I'm looking at Sunshine here saying, no, I think she's lovely because Sunshine is corrupt and evil. And I think all we do... I've got the solution. I have solved it. I have solved it. At the next PreachCon, it's too late. We're going to see Jordan at FanFest. At the next PreachCon, I am going to organize a treat for the PreachCon ladies. And I'm going to send them on a fun day out. So that Jordan has to spend time with Sunshine and Janie and Stormy, and Bex, and all the wonderful ladies that will destroy her mentally within a few hours. I'm going to send them with them all. Emma can go. Zoe can go. They're all going to go together. And they're, uh, you know what? We'll send them to like an escape room. Something where they have to work together. And it will be the most destructive process that has ever existed. It's just got to happen because we can't have this. Three, your biggest tier is the top, 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 top tier. And you've put in Shadowbringers, Emmett Selk has fallen below the vegetable. But on the same grading, apparently, is Emmerich and Fordola and Gaia and Hien are all the absolute best of the best of the best in Shadowbringers. I think we're good. There's a couple of people in the bin. Most of the characters are not in Shadowbringers, which is sad. But Except the ones that qualify for S+. Characters. I think this looks good. I, wait a minute. All right, Chris is fighting the good fight. Clog's trolling is what I can see. Clog is calling it absolute perfection as he giggles to himself. <laughs> Chunky is trying to point out that you're a little bit top-ended. There's no... Chris is laughing because there's no D or F tier at all. <laughs> but most of you are like... You know what's happening here? I actually see what's happening here. You guys are just happy that this is so fucking tragically bad that I'm going to be annoyed. That's what I can see in the chat is that you guys are just sat back reveling in this because it's so bad that you know I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah, you don't need to scatter. Aaron Vall on the chair tier. Where's Valina? Every side S plus except McPhillie and lol. Where's the F tier? Chris, can you get Mike to use the heart rate monitor while watching this? Yeah, there it comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What even counts as a D tier character? Okay. Not to say that my previous tier lists were bad, but I think this looks great. Yeah, I think so too. If I don't look at chat, nobody can disagree. You're looking at chat. We can see your eyes, John. I am confident in my decisions. Yep, this is it. This is the tier list. Sticking by my decisions. 
There's a couple of people that I didn't rank in the subcategories, sub but that's fine. I've got a headache. Sorted. Yeah. Done. I've got a headache. Perfect. There's nothing negative that can be said. There are no, though, look, the list ends at C. Look, I list say that headache came on rapidly. Oh, yeah. No, look, 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 there is this, look, everything's on screen. Plus tier after all. There is no rank below C. It's just characters that weren't in Shadow. Is Fan Daniel below Mango? Elidibus is below Mango. Gosetsu is below Mango. The more I look at it, the worse it gets. It's like a car crash. Like, you see the crash and it's bad, but if you look at the details, there's limbs and there's an eyeball on the floor, and it's just, it's worse and worse and worse. The more you take in of it, it just continues to degrade into just horrific, horrific nightmares. Uh, I wish that the Whirlit quest line uh, characters were on here. Out of all the freaking characters that we got, we didn't get Valens. Valens would be in the bin. Like, we have so many different types of villains, which is, again, a testament to the writing, that you can have so many different villains. Like, they're all villains, but they're all totally different. Like, Fandango is just absolutely nuts. And it's just like, I'm gonna die, so everybody's gonna die. <laughs> like... He's crazy. And then we have like Emmett. I think like they're just so so different. And then you have somebody like Valens, who is truly a vi like they're all tr truly villains, right? But Valens was Where is she? Where is she? Is she here? She's online. Is she here? She's not here. Why do you hate me? Can you please justify why Monago is better than Elidibus. Please. <laughs> 